Alright, so, how you all doing boys, hope you're doing well now in today's video. We are only one day away from the two and a half anniversary now. With that, of course, we do have the fest new Festival King, I should say, release. And with that, the complete downfall of the Barn. But I mean, as of today, Barn is by far the best character in Grand Cross. And all of his teams are insanely strong. Being, this one being by far the best team. So I figured, why not? Before just Barn gets absolutely shat on by King, we'll use some of my favorite or some of, you know, just the best Purgatory Barn teams now. If you guys don't know what Purgatory Barn does, his first card here is the Detonate card. Inflicts Detonate damage equal to 21% of the hero's max HP. The second card is his Gift card. Applies an effect on all allies which restores 50% of diminished HP at the start of allies turn for 3 turns and increases max HP by 30%. The ultimate which we do have 6-6 and gets the extra Rupture effect. Inflicts Rupture damage equal to 45% of the hero's max HP on all enemies. The passive, every time the hero's ultimate move gauge fills by one orb from using moving skills, ranking, all that kind of stuff. The hero's max HP increases by 8% for up to type 5 times. For 3 turns and removes all stats decrease. Oh, super long passive and the holy relic is probably one of the best holy relics and makes him from like, not only being like a massively good frontline unit, but also makes him like by far one of the best backline supports, so not only due to the CC, but just due to how the Holy Relic works, and that is, increases the hero's max HP by 15% each time an ally dies, so, I mean, he just comes into the front, and he's instantly getting 15% max HP, which, you know, increases HP, damage, he's just, he is such a good unit, and, you know, with this team here, Arthur obviously being his best support, you're gonna see Arthur in pretty much all of these teams, and Terry being the new hot thing, so, this is the team we're using today, to start off at least, and let's jump right into it. Here we go, our first opponent, A. Hey, Quite a different team. I originally was thinking of trying to use like a. It has been a hot minute since I've used a glow eater team, so I thought, why not? Maybe it might be a little bit of a you know fun mix up to take today to try out some glow eater. But hey, I mean if, it, if this is the last time we're going to see, but I definitely feel as if I'm going to try and use him just a little bit. Um, I have heard him with the Omega Rugal works really really well against King, so I'll definitely be trying that out. But. I don't know, I mean, Barn in Grand Global, in 7 Deadly Sins in general, is my favourite character, so... A little sad to see him go, I'm definitely glad he got, like, you know, as much attention he did from his festival, because before this Barn here, the best Barn was the... or at least the last time Barn was meta, was when the Coin Shot Nunchuck Barn came out, which, like, on Global, I think it was, like, the first week or the second week banner, which, which is absolutely ages ago, so... Uh, let's see, what do we want to go for here? I mean, it, he probably could get the Pulverize effect off on me. So I think I'm going to go like this and put up the Nameless Dance. I would like to put up the Terry Stance instead, or the Terry Point, should I say. That is a lot of damage. As you as you can see, even just from like his regular one-star cards, he does so much damage. And like the second you get this ultimate off, unless it's like a level 3 Breath of Bless Margaret or something, like he has a hard time just not killing people. Let's see, they're throwing that one in. Yeah. If we didn't put the Nameless Dance up there, we would have been losing our ultimate for sure. And just look at that, like, Power Strike, one of the strongest single target effects in the game. And Barn just straight up tanks it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, sorry, not Barn. Arthur just straight up tanks it. He is such a phenomenal unit as well. And with that ultimate, I mean, yeah, obviously, Lily Melon survives due to the passive, but let's get on to the next match. And holding on to the King of Fighters team. Hey, look at that. Mirror matchup. We're going to be using Keo now. Before I get any further into the video and just completely forget about it, we are going to be trying some Discord things. I am basically got a Discord server now. I'll leave links in the description. You know, if you guys are keen on joining that, it'll be there. Can't wait to see you guys there. But I mean, Kira is another unit which, like, I'd probably say is like easily. I just I can't find anyone who doesn't have Kira in like their funnest units to play. He's such a good unit, so versatile, and the fact that you know. The King of Fighters Rion happened and he became meta again. I don't know, it was just such a good thing. Granted, you know, with King coming out once again, he's just an even squishier red unit, so he is probably going to get demolished. I can't say anything for certain, and like, I don't really like to give my opinion on things if I haven't actually tried them for myself, but I could only imagine it'd be a bad spot for him. Uh, let's see, I mean, no extra barn cards, which does hurt. Uh, I think I might just go for this for the time being. Maximize card draw, get up the name of Stance so we can't attack him to us with the barn. And hopefully, we can maybe get some extra bulk. If we could get a merge on some barn cards, it would be nice, but ideally, we just want some cards to actually merge. And there you go, still nothing. Uh, I mean, we can easily remove his Kyo if he doesn't have the Arthur stance up. That's a little hard to do, yeah. Look at that, goddamn. 
I mean, he still takes quite a bit of damage. I definitely, personally, wouldn't have attacked into the Arthur there. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Uh, I really want Arthur dead, but at the same time, I also want my Nameless Dance up. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll just go for this. Um, both this team and the Dragon Ball, I'd say this team is a little more so. Very, very, like, offensive and, like, damage-heavy team. Uh, the next team, which I will be using, probably one of my favorite barn teams, especially before, like, the release of Terry and, you know, I really would have considered only using Keo in this other team. Then, of course, again, we did have the release of the Holy Relics, which, you know, makes Barn, uh, Arthur, and Twigo frontline if you have the Holy Relic really, really effective as well. I did also really want to get the Arthur Holy Relic, but just with the fact that I only do stage one and two, it takes a little bit longer to grind up those Holy Relics, so really kind of trying to save them for those super OP ones or like the real metal ones. Yeah, let's see, one, two, three. We can get the Barn here. Uh. I mean, yeah, there really is no other option. One and two. If we survive, I mean, that's great. We can throw our ultimate out and like turn around the match, but chance of that are real low. Nay, we would kill Kyo in just one card either. Now, let's see. I mean, we do have a whole bunch of Ignites on us, so probably going to get a lot of damage reduction. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Come on, please. I mean, that's the thing about barn matches as well. Like, one of the things I like to stress so hard about it is like sometimes you just spawn into a barn matchup and say they get a merger on their card or you just get like really bad put like card roll whatnot like it's not a matchup that requires a whole lot of thinking it's kind of just this character that's like unga bunga me merge gift cards me throw out six six ultimate and win the match due to the fact that we actually lost our kill there although we did lose the ignites which is rather unfortunate we did get the extra 15 percent max hp which is which will help make up for a little bit. I definitely would have preferred all the ignites, that's for sure. Going out that one. Look at that, two and a half million damage. My man hit a million damage on Keo alone. Once again, I mean, you know, go ahead and join the Discord. I know I've already said it once this video, but I mean, you might as well. And look at that, getting the extra barn card to start us off here. Merge those two. I think we'll chuck out the gift card this turn. Uh. Yeah, we might as well. Why not? We'll chuck it out this turn. Uh, main reason why Red Eastern is such a good unit, and like, I literally built her up entirely just for the one barn showcase, is the fact that she gives him the cleanse. Like, being able to cleanse on this team, like, sometimes when using, say, Barn, Arthur, and Terry, and you go up against the Green Growth, which is like one of the most common units that's diverse in the game, they just spam that Dissolve card, and there is nothing you can do about it, basically. So, by using Easton here, you can cleanse us, and she also has the Alt Gauge removal card as well, which Terry has, which is like, although people look at Terry and think like, oh, that's probably one of his worst parts about his kit, honestly, it's definitely one of his best, like, just giving Barn that tiny bit of utility, because he is so just like, you know, stats-based, all about the attack, all about the HP. It definitely helps out a lot, so Easton, definitely one of the bad units. Unfortunately, not a unit like, you know, a lot of people have built, especially when it comes to, like, UR gear and whatnot, but still, like, a really, really good pick. Unfortunately, we're not going to see a whole bunch of use out of her just due to the fact that Barn absolutely wiped everyone there. Uh, let's see, I mean, if he'd like to buff himself up with like a level 1 Breath of Bless or something, that would be great. I mean, never mind, we lost our ultimate anyway. All good, all good. Uh, level 3 attack. Still got the gift card, so not taking like a crazy amount of damage there. I mean, as well, using Barn, like, if you, say, use something like a Lodosia Link at the moment, I've got Sorry, I'll just for the extra damage, but if you do use Lodosia Link, an extremely good option. I think I'll go one... I think I might double Alt Drain here, just to make sure no mergers happen, because would be unfortunate. I really want to get the flawless video using Barn here. Ooh, I forgot about the Terry counter. Was that a merger? On? I think I got the merger on Escanor instead. Did that? I don't think it gave him ultimate either, which saves us. Yeah, no, perfect. Sweet, yeah. That's gonna got no old gauge. There we go. I'm gonna get the extra cards out, yeah. Oh. Uh, he does have the Terry. But there's no way I can, like, rush Barn Ultimate, Nameless Dance, and remove Ultimate, like, from Terry as well in the one turn, so. Kind of chuffed to pray that he did. Did I use him? I don't think I used a level 2 Nameless Dance, at least. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That, that hurt, to say the least. Army only giving him quite a bit of HP back. We'll go one, two, and three. Why not? Fingers crossed it doesn't have an extra Terry card. I feel like Easton is going to take a ton of damage from that. Uh, still not too bad. Throwing that out there. Yeah, we are getting any crits, so we are getting like the most use out of our Sario Link. Granted, you know, we already passed that turn too, so it's not like we'd have the Ludo Cell Grace anyway. And let's see. What is the. It's AoE, isn't it? 
uh, Spike. Yeah, okay. Nothing too crazy either. Does he have the Ultrain? He has the Ultrain. Oh, well, what can you do? Ah, uh, damn, it's really starting to look like we might lose this match. His Terry is absolutely carrying him here. He hasn't even got the Breath of Bless up or anything. Just due to the fact that he can keep removing our ultimates, it's just killing us. Ah. Uh, remove you again. I think I might just try and increase Steve. Or should I go for the Arthur ultimate instead? Because, oh, I accidentally misclicked. I was going to say, I was going to hold on this card. Uh, if you get the two or the three star, it does increase. I think the two star is 30% increase to defense, and then the three star is 50% increase to all defense. So, completely wasted that one there, yeah, as you can see. Oh no, decrease, uh, increases, sorry, defense rate stats by 50%. So, I think the three star is 80% then, which is, although it sounds like a lot of defense, just isn't that strong of a stat in general. Arthur absolutely tanking there, even with the crits. Like, Escanor without the crits is absolutely fodder, of it. Even when he still hits him. It's gonna start off the meta a little bit. Uh, no, well, can Barn even survive here? In all honesty, level one gift card. Granted, you know, the Holy Relic as well is gonna activate after he kills Arthur, as well. Like, it's not like we're gonna actually get those like that extra thirty percent. If Barn survives here, I mean, it's an easy win unless he removes the ultimate again. But this match has been quite a drawn out match to say the least. Please don't one tap. Okay, a bun just survives. I feel like any Escanor attack here just wipes. Wait, hold on. Oh, we were so close. Oh, well, what can you do? What can you do? I mean, the Barn Eastern team is probably the weakest team out of the ones we're going to showcase in today's video, so it only makes sense we lose it. But, uh, something that, you know, it, at the time this video releases, I think the JP version will have the same name update, like the same name rule at least for, I think it's Ungeared PvP they're doing it, so I uh, definitely like to see some of like the, you know, I just reckon running like the regular Lidocell and Margaret Lidocell would be such a sick combination. We'll have to see how it works. That with like a Halloween Girth, I feel would be really sick, but super, super keen to get that as well. I know we had the 4v4s on Global a little while ago, I think it was actually when King of Fighters was out, and I just didn't play it at all. Definitely, you know, missed some opportunities on that one there. I think we start going for... Just waste some card draw and try and get Escanor down. Granted, don't, we don't have to worry a whole bunch about the... I mean, I probably should have gone for Elizabeth in all honesty just so we can get her out of the way. Because we don't have to worry a whole lot about Escanor's damage. Granted, you know, as you can see, he does have the Holy Relic, which will help my... I think it just ignores like 30% defense stats. Not even the... If it was defense related stats, he'd be absolutely busted, but... I mean, if he doesn't put up a shield as well here. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, there it is, the Lodoso passive, the one match where I use it. Here we go, we'll go one, two, and three. Have Barn just wipe the floor again. He's just he's just one of the best units, and you know, with King's Banner coming at you, you do actually have another chance of getting Barn, so you know, if you guys maybe down him 6 6 either and you can get some dupes for him. Would be really, really good. Hoping, you know, you all guys get some fire luck on your King's summons. Lost Vayne in the back here. Lost Vayne's... <laughs> at his release, don't get me wrong, he was just meta game breaking. You can't win if you're bursting a team and you don't have him, but look at him now. Look at look at just the amount of power creep that has happened in this game. It's absolutely crazy. There we go. With rare unit Twiggo tanking hits from the one Escanor. Uh, we'll throw this off and off and we'll wrap this match. I'm going to the final match. I don't actually know who I'm going to use for this final one. I really only had the four teams in mind, so... Might just bust out some janky Sariel on the front or something. Let's see it, our final match of the video using the Halloween Slater. Versus the real player as well. Against the Margaret team, this Slater was mainly built for countering Margaret. The fact we're not going first though is a little disappointing. I mean, I was actually going to use a Barn Margaret, but if you're using those two together, you're best off using Halloween Gotha. And I feel that's more of a Margaret team than a Gotha team. I mean, when using Barn, you almost always want to be using him. Actually, you always want to be using him with this Excalibur Arthur, unless you're, of course, you're using the team I said just then, but, uh, let's see. This disables everything but attack cards, correct? So we can disable the, yeah, we can disable the stance for next turn. We'll throw you and you out, I suppose. I already got so many old gates from Mark, but goddamn, I'm guessing this next turn he's going to... Has he got an Estorosa in the back? I swear Chandler doesn't always have debuff immunity. I'm tripping, right? There's no way. 
Chandler just has debuff immunity all times. Okay, I mean, that's alright. We can. That was a complete waste of a turn right there. Buffing up the Margaret there, level 3 Breath of Blast comes out. Uh, and he gets the attack as well. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna put the gift card up with Barn here. Oh, but... oh no, he puts a dissolve on me anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go. One, there's no real point in me using any barn card, like any attack cards this turn, so I think I might go two, and you disable skill effects, don't you? Yeah, okay, so that'll, re that'll remove the sever effect from the single target ultimate, which stops Arthur from getting crit, which should save him a whole bunch, or is it the triple crit damage, or is it, or is it the... I think it's the triple crit chance, so that you like guarantee. Yeah, yeah, it's the triple crit chance. That way you can, you know, crit on units like Barn with the crazy crit resistance. Okay. I'm guessing, I mean, there's no way he holds on to the ultimate. He's definitely going to throw it out. We still have, we still have our gift for one more turn. I'm thinking I might as well just go all, like full send into the level three breath of bless. We do lose a whole lot of damage. Damn, even without the crit, Arthur just gets absolutely minced there. Oh my God. Okay, losing Arthur. Losing Arthur, although we do get the extra 15% HP from the Holy Relic. Definitely not a worthwhile investment. If we lose Slater as well, we are in a terrible spot. Yikes. Okay. We go on the front. We still have the Lidosa on Twigger, which actually helps. I was meant to take that off and put the Assault Meliodas there instead. Uh, we'll go one and two. Hopefully we can get a lot of lifesteal from this one. Get him topped up again. I mean, honestly, not terrible. 250,000. Having Twigo here with the Ludo Breast as well, actually. If they can't kill Twigo and put like the block effect on Barn to remove the. What's the word I'm looking for? To remove the rupture effect from his ultimate, we might just be able to wipe the floor here. And like, Barn in pretty much any 1v1 matchup, like when it's just like your fourth unit versus their fourth unit, almost wins every time. So let's see, that should kill the Twigo. Gives me a tiny bit of extra HP. Please don't kill, please don't kill. Okay, yeah, he puts the block effect on. He puts the block effect. God damn, really good player as well. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna throw out the I'm gonna throw out the ultimate anyway, just because I don't have any other options. We do have an extra 45% max HP though, so surely only 400,000. Holy damn, Breath of Less is overpowered. And yeah, with that's gonna run the back. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this match. I'm gonna play the rest of that obviously in person. I'm not gonna forfeit, but. If I do end up winning, I will show you guys the rest, but let's just wrap up the video. Yeah, no, we got absolutely sourced, but that just about does it for today's video. I mean, heaps of fun with Purgatory Barn. Hopefully we can still see him in the meta just a little bit. I mean, but like I said earlier on the video, Barn is my favorite Seven Deadly Sins character, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Probably the most amount of teams I've ever showed in a video. I usually like to just stick for the one, like with the one team for the whole showcase, but Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please hit like button, subscribe. Really means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.